Did you ever wonder what it was like in the old west underneath the open sky? Well, we have, and from time to time, we like to add a western flavor to entertainment at our house. I am Chef Michael Tondo, Honorary Chairman of National Barbecue Month. I invite all of you to join me for the month of July for barbecues. And as we all know, the Old West was a time when men were men and appetites were huge. One of the things that satisfied these appetites was good beef. And one of the ways to cook beefsteak in those colorful times was country style. And that's what we're going to cook today. You start with a good top round steak which weighs about three pounds and is three quarters of an inch thick. This serves four people. Top round steak has no bone, but there is a thin layer of fat on the outside edge which you can easily trim off. Once the steak is trimmed, it's time to add the magic ingredient, the bottled browning sauce, kitchen bouquet, which seals in the natural flavors and juices of the meat and gives it a beautiful brown look. Once kitchen bouquet is brushed on, using your regular kitchen basting brush, you can then salt and pepper to taste. The meat should be left to sit for about 15 minutes to allow kitchen bouquet to create a seal for the natural meat flavors. When you're doing your own outdoor cooking, there are a few easy tips which will add to your barbecuing enjoyment. First, clean the grill with a good wire brush. Then, when you're ready to start the fire, Mound the briquettes in the center of the grill. This will help the flame reach all the charcoal and give you a good even fire. To cook corn on the cob over the coals, remove the husk and silk and wrap in foil with butter and seasoning. Place the foil wrapped ears on the grill and cook for seven to eight minutes, turning each one so it cooks evenly. When all the briquettes are a powdery gray, spread them evenly over the bottom of the barbecue grill. Set the steaks about four to five inches from the fire and grill one side for about seven minutes. Then turn the country steak over and cook for seven minutes more. To add western zest to your country style steak, heat up some tasty mushrooms in a small pan placed on the grill. You can do this just before the beef's ready to serve. To get the meat just right, you can press it with the tongs, never a fork, to see how well done it is. Rare meat will feel soft to the touch, and well done will be firm. The reason I never use a fork is that it would pierce the kitchen bouquet flavor seal. One of the secrets of good barbecue cooking is to keep all the juices in, which makes the meat tender and moist. When the meat's ready for serving, cut it at an angle in thin slices across the grain. And don't be afraid to add a generous spoonful of sliced mushrooms which have been heating in their own butter and rich sauce. For another Western treat, serve easy to prepare barbecue beans. Be sure to serve up the beans in an old fashioned Western style bean pot. Carry out your Western theme with bright checkered tablecloths tin plates and cups, and other decorative touches that create a chuck wagon atmosphere. Western barbecues are always fun. Try one yourself. I'm sure your family and guests will agree it's a great way to celebrate National Barbecue Month. If you'd like a free booklet of my recipes to help you and your family celebrate during National Barbecue Month, and all through the year, write to me. Chef Michael Tondo, in care of this program. 